unfortunately, today I have to paint a, a, to bring you a realistic picture as to where we stand on this recount. Now you know that we we have. It's now 52 days since the elections were held. And nowhere in the entire world, in the history of democracy, has a country not declared their winner of an election after 52 days of holding an election. So we're in uncharted waters. We're, in, we're making history, but not in a good sense, because what we have seen is a serious attempt by APNU AFC with staff of GCOM and the commissioners, some commissioners of GCOM, in a serious attempt to rig the elections. And this, if people thought that this ended with the fraudulent declaration of Mingo, they are wrong. The process is ongoing. Even as we speak, they're trying to create the conditions so they can sabotage the recount or tamper with the results of the recount. So we were hoping that the chair of GCOM, after the court matters were dealt with, would have expeditiously moved forward with a recount. And all we asked for in the PPP was that it be done quickly and transparently. And therefore, right from the beginning, the commissioners representing the opposition made some suggestions as to how we, this recount could be done. We propose that it be done in 10 days with 20 workstations. Even that in for a recount is a very long time, but we conceded. And then we put in place, or we suggested, several safeguards to avoid a repetition of what took place in, in when Mingo made the fraudulent declaration, along with people like Roxanne Myers and Lowenfield and the others as support cast. So what were some of those recommendations? You have seen them before in the proposals of the commissioners, but they included things like live streaming the proceedings, ensuring that an auditor is present in each of the workstations, ensuring that the observers and the party agents are there, that there's a transparent way of tabulating the results, um, and that they, we do not fall for the trap that Vincent Alexander and APNU wants, which is an audit of the boxes. What we need is a recount. They want to go through an audit of the boxes after not wanting even to release the SOPs because they're hoping to drag this out forever. The, the audit of the boxes take forever. In each of those boxes, you'd have a tally sheet. They don't want to read out the, the, the numbers on the tally sheets because it's easy. You open the boxes, you take the tally sheets out, which are there signed by the presiding officers, and immediately you can know the, what, who got what vote but they don't want that. They want to go after a whole range of extraneous issues. So we said, stick with the law, the Representation of People's Act. We made those proposals. For several weeks now, the chair has been prevaricating, dilly-dallying, pro procrastinating, um, on making decisions. 